Hey third grade, we're going to start today to talk about line for our next project. So first thing we have to figure out is what is a line? So use lines all the time when you draw, when you write your name, anytime you make a mark on your paper or on the chalk or on the floor. So sometimes people think of it as a dot that goes for a walk. So let me grab my pen. So if I have a dot, and I might just kind of go for a walk. So here, if I draw it, I end up with the type of lines curvy. So there's lots of different types of lines. So one type of line that you want to know is a line that goes up and down. We call that vertical. Another type of line that goes side to side and straight is called horizontal. And the other line that goes in between is called diagonal. Diagonal lines can go either direction. Now you can either join many different types of lines together, so two diagonal lines connected together make a zigzag. Or there's different types of broken lines. So like a dotted line. Or you can even have like a dashed line. There's a spiral, which is a curved line that curves in on itself. Let's see, can you think of any other types of lines? We're going to take a look at a couple of other types of lines. So the line we're going to talk about today is called a contour line. So when you go to draw something, you normally would look at the shape of an object. So, for instance, if you look at a hand, you're not going to instantly start drawing the inside. You look for the edges of an object. Or if you're going to draw a car or a tire, you would look at the edge. You'd look for the circle, the outer part. And we look for the most important parts of an object when we're drawing using contour lines. It's like I'm making glasses. Now for our next project, we're going to be drawing our shoes, starting with contour lines. And then we're going to be adding value to it. Let me show you a couple other examples. These are draw shoes that were drawn by third graders. So here you can see we have lots of contour lines that look for the edges. We have outside exterior contour lines, and interior contour lines. There's even dashed lines for stitches. And inside here, there's different types of texture. Remember, texture is how something looks like it feels, or how it actually feels. Here we have a boot that a student drew. Now, the real boot was actually very black, but they made it more gray so they wouldn't lose all their details. And here we have somebody's sketcher. And like, this is a little bit blurry, but I really thought it was neat how they made the shading on the bottom part where it looks 3D. This person added something extra creative to their shoe by adding some fish jumping out the inside like it's a fishbowl. So what I'd like you to do next is to watch the part one of the video on how to get started with your drawing your shoe. And then part two will show you how to add value to your shoe. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you have fun with the next part of your project.